Hello everybody and welcome to this course about creating lightsaber battles using the open source software OpenTools. If you're interested in following the entire course, you can find it on Skillshare or on Udemy. There's a link in the description. In this particular video though, we are going to import our footage and our lightsaber to our project. And we are also going to do the basic setup. For example, we are going to set the camera resolution and we're also going to put the lightsaber into its initial position. Before we get started though, first of all, make sure that you have FFmpeg installed and that you have linked FFmpeg and OpenTunes. This will allow us to import videos to OpenTunes and will also allow us to export to various video files later. So if you don't know how to do that, have a look at the video in the appendix which gives you clear step-by-steps -step instructions. To import to OpenTunes is super easy. All you have to do is click and drag the file to the X sheet. Remember though that we need to have FFmpeg installed and linked to OpenTunes before we can do that. We can click on import or load. Import copies the file to the project folder while load keeps a file where it is. I prefer to use a copy, so I'm going to click on import. In my case, I've imported this video already, so OpenTunes is asking me if I want to overwrite it or not. Okay, now we've imported the video and we see that it's much smaller than the canvas. So in order to do change that, we're going to change the camera settings. Let's look up the video resolution of the video using VLC first. After that, we go to Render, Output Settings, and over here we can change the resolution. Be careful because right now the aspect ratio is locked. We need to click on another one of these padlocks to unlock the aspect ratio. Okay, now we see that the video fits the canvas. Let's also import the lightsaber I created. Just drag and drop it to the egg sheet in the same way. By the way, it was quite a simple matter to create this lightsaber in Inkscape. If you are interested in learning more about Inkscape, why not check out one of my courses on the topic. Okay, next let's make this column temporarily invisible. And let's scroll down in the timeline to somewhere where the lightsaber first appears. In my case, that's frame 287. And let's go back up to the frame, select it, and press Ctrl X. Go back to frame 287 and press Ctrl V to paste it. We can use the selection tool to modify it. But be careful because if you select only a small part of it, you'll be cutting that piece up. Also, mind this white border which we see. That shows the extent to which you can draw anything within this column. So for example, if we rotate the lightsaber like this, it will cut off the edges. We can increase the size by right click, edit image, canvas size. Let's make it as big as the camera view. And now, as you can see, we can easily resize this lightsaber without worrying about any part of it being cut off. Let's move it over here. We could rotate it too with the selection tool, but that would change the default horizontal value. And later I'm going to use the animation tool to tween the horizontal scale. So let's rather set the initial rotation using the animation tool. First we use the animation tool to set the center, the center of rotation that is. 
and then we set the rotation itself. Because we use the animation tool to set the rotation, it rotates the entire level. As you can see, the white border rotates too. So now when we use the animation tool to set the horizontal scale, we see that the lightsaber shrinks and grows, but only in the horizontal direction of the lightsaber, irrespective of which direction the lightsaber is pointing. Finally, let's duplicate this frame for all the remaining frames in the animation. Select the first empty frame, scroll down, select the last empty frame, right click, fill in empty cells. So thanks for watching, we've learned quite a lot. In the next video we are going to learn to animate the lightsaber using the animation tool. See you there, bye bye!